Hi, Sagittarius. All right, let's see what is going on for you. We're going to do love mainly for today. What are the messages for Sagittarius? Someone's waking up that they're feeling insecure and they keep running away. They want to take a chance. These don't have reverse meanings, but yet I do like to kind of like see how that plays in. Because if roll the dice is in reverse, they may not want to take a chance, but I kind of feel like this person does. So your person is waking up that they're feeling insecure around this connection with you and they run. Whenever they feel insecure, they start to run. But they know that you guys may want the same thing or you guys get along great or this could be something lasting. So they want to take a chance on love. All right. So you may notice like this person, like let's just say you work together and you see them and some days they're really fun and flirty, other days they're like running away from you. That's probably why they're insecure. They're not sure if they can handle this connection, but they're realizing that's what they're doing, which is good, I guess they're realizing it. All right, the Six of Swords, the Chariot, Three of Coins, yeah, you guys, Ace of Wands and Four of Coins holding back. But under the deck is the Page of Cups, so that's good. So you do have somebody here who, like they're seeing that you guys get along well, they're attracted to you, so they may start picking up the pace with a chariot and take a chance, maybe ask you out. So this is something maybe you've been waiting for, maybe they've been eyeing you and you've just been kind of waiting and wondering if they're ever gonna ask you out or make the next move. Yeah, they think you're nine of coins, this is why. This is like high value, this is, you know, smart, attractive, fun, outgoing. You have everything going for you, so they find you, you know, to be a little intimidating. This is chariot energy. They want to come toward you, but then they pause. Yeah, I'm not surprised. They're kind of like, they get kind of overwhelmed here. Let me do one more. No, but I see them reaching out. Yeah, there's something about you they really like because, again, the two of you get along well. They're seeing that, the three of coins. You guys may be thinking alike, like the card says. Um, they're very drawn to you, ace of wands. Yeah, you make this person really happy. This is how this person feels about you. But the Ace of Wands, the Sun, the Nine of Pentacles. The Four of Coins has been them holding back. Six of Coins, though, they could be, and they could be breadcrumbing. Yeah, this is bad habit. Okay, this Devil is a bad habit. The Six of Coins can be breadcrumbing, hot and cold energy, definitely. But now that we have the Ace of Coin, at least, yeah, there could be a shift in this connection, finally. You may see this person being more open. They may ask you out now. Um, you just need to know, I think, that this person first is a runner. So does this person have any sort of fear of commitment spirit? Four of Wands, Two of Swords, Two of Wands, Ten of Cups. It's kind of like they have been thinking about, you know, maybe being in a relationship now. It's not showing necessary fear of commitment in this so far. I don't have the cards I need, but they could be someone who wasn't thinking about commitment. The Insecure card says needs constant support, questions your love, blames, and then self-destructs. Okay. And then fear of intimacy, running away, intensity, letting go, turmoil, and fleeting. So it's kind of like you got to walk a fine line with this person. Like you got to like kind of hold back, but not like, like if you, I don't know, overwhelm them, they could run. So I think that's what you need to know about this person. Maybe you've been wondering what's going on. Okay. What do they want to say to you? It's something. Now they're saying they should have fought for you. They don't feel like they deserve you. This has definitely been coming up in like the last week or so of readings. It's interesting. And I want to make things right with you. I, You are worth more to me than I let on. And they will never compare to you. It says I can't let go. They're hoping for, now some of you, this could be a return. This could be a new beginning. Like before they breadcrumbed you with the six of coins, now they want to give you everything with the ace of coins. All right. Sagittarius, what does Sagittarius need to know? We have home and foundation, which is kind of the four of wands and meanings, signs and meanings, signs and meanings. They're seeing that this is a, like your home to them. They're seeing signs, messages from spirit. 
Because again, it does say they're waking up. This could actually be a spiritual awakening. I don't always read it that way because I just feel like sometimes you just kind of wake up and realize you're doing something over and over. And so I think this person is. I think this is actually a good reading because I feel like this person's realizing their mistakes. Maybe they are becoming more woke. Okay. Love. Strong affection. We have compromises, making changes. And relationship connecting. Yeah, they want to connect. This is kind of like there's two people walking on this one. I don't know if you can tell. It kind of reminds me of this one. So it's like coming together. Like the other cards are just one person. They're alone. They're like by themselves. And now they want to come together with you. Okay, how is this going to go for you, Sagittarius? The moon, that's kind of an unsure energy. The ace of cups, new love. And eight of coins. It may take a little work, like I always say, like all relationships take work, but some are harder than others. This could be a soulmate connection with like a karmic lesson attached to it. Um, also, if you do actually work together, this might be the, the could with the moon, and it, it could cause problems. Doesn't mean it has to with moon. Moon is kind of like an unsure card, um, but there's definitely emotions there between the two of you. Can you show me more about what if it's emotions, what these emotions are? That was a lot. You, Ten of Cups, Five of Coins, the Star card, hoping. You may be the one to also take a chance on this. Sagittarius, this may be your energy too because there is something here where you were happy the Ten of Cups and got left out in the cold. You've been hoping and waiting and wondering for a new love. And now you're, you're wondering if you take a chance on this. You're wondering if this is what you've been asking for. This could be Three of Wands. If it's a timeline, it can be now up until three weeks. But you've been looking for love. Yeah, this is a new beginning for you. Some of you also may have an ex who has is coming back or has, wait, can we say it again? Has come back or will come back, but it looks like you may not move forward. Also, if this person is a, has a fear of commitment, I feel like you know how to handle this. Maybe you've dealt with this before. Because you've dealt the past and may have had a fear of commitment, but like you know how to overcome it. So I'm gonna have to grab one card out of here. This person wonders if you are enjoying life without them. Enjoying life without you. So they feel kind of left behind. They feel sad right now about the whole situation. But it says, I can't seem to forget about you. I just, for some reason, for somebody, I see you working either in a hospital or a doctor's office. I don't know. I see, I see a hospital. I see people wearing a lot of white coats walking in and out of a big building. But So, I don't know. Maybe someone also got transferred recently or will get transferred as far as where you work. It's also kind of a feeling I'm getting. Uh, if, you, if you work in an industry where you do like move around or get transferred or things like that, you could be getting a transfer soon. Okay, what is going on for you? This person's scared. Wow. One more. That they're stuck on you. Well, they could be scared that they're stuck on you, and they may be confused by that. Like, wow, they fell, fell head over heels, Sagittarius. All right, I'm going to pull. I want to see also if there's anything else right now. What should you do? So this person does have intense feelings, is what I would say. And they are looking toward making some sort of change. Unicorn. It says, use your intuition to make beneficial changes, Sagittarius. Kind of gets something, yeah, a shift or a change coming in for you. A wish will be granted. New opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening up. Wow. Could be this person, but I also feel something around your schedule or around, um, I mean, it could be your work or something like that. But if you don't work, I get, or you're, or you're not making changes there, I feel like it could be around um, a group, like your soul tribe, or you find a soul tribe, or you, some of you just may be lucky too. I'm getting like, um, um, what would you call it? A string of luck? Some good things happening for you, some like this little things happening, but like a string of them, like several things happening working in your favor. I feel like something around your car, you're having car trouble or something, like that's gonna change. Also, like you could receive a small amount of money unexpectedly, 
Um, just like things like that showing up in your life. Okay. What should you do with this person here? Should you do anything or should you just wait? Seven of Swords. No, you need to wait for the truth. You know this person likes you, the Seven of Swords, and that you're checking out. They'll come forward. Because under the deck, I see the King of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the Justice. Yeah. Wait for them to come towards you. All right. Um, they will speak their truth here. All right. Anything else, Spirit? I think I'm going to leave it there, guys. Have a great week, and I'll talk to you soon.